Yeah, got a new show for y'all. We got a damn good show. I love being black, but it's a lot of Negroes out there that's making it tough on me to be black. <laughs> it is, man. I'm a good Negro. <laughs> Pay my bills, got good credit, take care of my family, you know? But these niggas out here, <laughs> Make it hard on us good Negroes. Because that's the difference between niggas and Negroes. What do you think? You've been reading that uh, book by that black philosopher, um, Chris Rock. Yeah. That's one of the greatest black ph- philosophers of all time. Yeah. I think he's Greek, too, like Aristotle. <laughs> yeah, he got some He got some Greek in him. Yeah, he got that curl-ass jerry curl. <laughs> he got that jerry curl. Yeah, like that nigga sitting on that rock like this. <laughs> That curly kid. <laughs> but anyway, so this black woman goes into this Asian-owned business. Because she thinks it's black-owned. She's a black supremacist. And you she, mean to tell me that's how you spend your money? I only support only black-only business. Take your iPhone, give it back. Take all them clothes off. Take that weave out of your hair. Take everything you own, give it back to the white man. Yeah. If you think like that. Yeah, but she goes into this business, and it's Asian-owned, <laughs> and she... She feels that they're still in black culture to to earn a profit. Check it out. Is this black owned? Oh uh, no. Okay. Interesting. There ain't no black owned business. White and Asian people in there. <laughs> if that's black owned, ain't none of them in there. <laughs> they make like some damn good drinks. How you doing? Good. How are you? Get some boba drinks. Yeah. Okay, do you think um, using this, you guys are not um, using black culture to get gain attention? Uh, not again, at all. You don't think this is black culture? Uh, is this Asian? Everyone, everyone is this been, Asian culture? Uh, comedy, the comedy house is definitely an Asian culture. That's uh, exactly no, but it's the trap house, though. Is that is that Asian That's not culture? A trap house. Yes, it is. That's the trap tea. I can show you where it's at. Trap tea. Trap tea. Trap tea. Trap tea. Trap tea. The boba plug. You're using black culture to gain customers. Oh my God, this black. This establishment is uh, not black owned, but using you're stealing black culture. Is this not black culture? Trap tea. The boba plug. No, you're the Asian Asian people stealing black black culture once again, <laughs> once again. It's okay, you'll be exposed though. You're not black owned. You're they get exposed. <laughs> you get exposed as a clown. No, I came here because I thought it was black owned. That's why I came here. I told my friends I'm supporting a black like, What the business. hell is going this on? This is not black owned. You're not, this is not black owned. Asian stealing stealing black culture once again. Uh, you're a clown. Don't talk. Hey everybody, you go to the black communities when you go buy your do-rags, your your weave. Yeah. Every time you go in these stores, they're owned by Asian people. Yeah. It's never a problem, but it's a problem because he's selling trap tea. Yeah, uh, I guess okay. He's referring to two terms. Trap. That's where you go buy drugs, trap house. Trap house. Right. And then it's, a, she, it's drug jargon. Yeah, right. And it's a uh, plug. That's the dude plugging people with drugs, the drug dealer. Yeah. That's right. not black culture. So I guess they got got those names tied in with their drinks. <laughs> you know, Asian people, they smart. Yes. Oh, call it the trap tea. <laughs> Niggas will love this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's what they doing. Yeah. But to say that's black culture. That's not black culture. That's drug culture. Well, you call it black people crackheads, crackheads and drug dealers. Hey, 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 hold on now. That's what she doing. Well, if we think about it, let's look at it from a point of view. She's on to something here. She's on to something. Yeah, these niggas are controlling this country. They out there got these crap houses plugging mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. When you think of a drug dealer, who you think of? A Negro. Negro, K N E E G R O W, Negro. Yeah, man. But that, that yeah, crackhead, crackhead is synonymous with black. So like a that, black dude with white powdery lips. Yeah, and those two are so interlinked. Black people and drugs, closely related. 
black and crime, it's like, can you really, uh, what word I'm looking for? Disconnect that? They go hand in hand. No, that's a fact. You can't, you can't take it apart. It's a fact. You, you got to bring them together. That's a fact. Yeah. It's you can't like, separate. If you're doing that, you're blackwashing crime. <laughs> you blackwashing crime. Yeah, you're blackwashing it. <laughs> you're washing. You know, you're whitewashing. You're washing the black people out of it. Yeah. Like it's like they're not a part of. You're blackwashing it. To make black people look. Oh, well, it's like they'll term whitewashing. Yeah, it's white like whitewash. They blackwashing it. I get it. Yeah, you could, you could, you could be pretty smart too, man. Yeah. Uh, you have your moments. I have my moments, yeah. But excuse me, you. Uh, I was gonna say something, mean, black lady. I mean, those terms are not exclusive. Just because black people are a bunch of damn drug addicts and drug dealers, <laughs> don't mean they have the exclusive right to those words. Yeah. See, look how smart the Asian guy is. The <laughs> Asian man. Look how dumb you are. <laughs> you meet an Asian guy at the door. Is this black owned? No, it's not. An Asian guy tells you that. You walk in and you see a bunch of Asians behind the counter. Uh, and white and you asking them, is this black owned? How many black owned businesses you see a bunch of Asians running it? The only Asians you're going to see in that kind of business is black people. It's Asian people who want to be black. And they're like culture vultures. You know what? It, you know what? It might be black owned and a bunch of Asians running it. If it's a trap house. The only time. Yeah, and, those, but, and those Asians are there against their will. They're slaves. Yeah, but white people use those terms, too. Everybody uses those terms. It's just, it's just drug jargon. Yeah, it's drug vernacular. Drug lingo. That's all it is. Black people. What are we going to do with them? Can't live with them. Can't live without them. You know what I'm thinking? I'm what? starting to think like a white person. Uh, how so? I know what the white people are thinking right now. They're like, man, I'm so tired of these Negroes. K N E E G R O W S Negroes. Hey man, but you you got you got to keep man. We born looking at a bunch of white guys play basketball. Hey man, bring bring back the nineteen eighties Celtics. Oh, them 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 white boys they kill them niggas now. Yeah. <laughs> them damn them, 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 them old damn Larry Bird came damn, damn. <laughs> Oh, them white boys are killing niggas. I'm telling you, <laughs> bring back the old Boston Celtics. Oh man, they, they play ball. Look at the guy that won in um, Denver. Uh, Gukic, Ukic, Gokic, <laughs> Jokic, Jokic. Yeah, like uh, Yo-Yo, it's Jokic. Yeah, he's bad, man. He's a bad white boy. He's a bad white boy. He, he, have those, he have those Negroes like, man, this white boy is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a damn good show. Damn good show. We got a new giveaway going. We're giving away a, a Ram 2500 diesel yeah. with the Cummins transmission in now. Yeah. And 10000 in cold hard cash to enter the win. Go to OfficialHawksTwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you all the back. Enter the win. Yeah.